Some years ago, we had a dream to construct a field robot which could measure N2O emission from field plot experiments day and night. It should be able to find its way to the treatment plots, choose positions at random within each plot, and measure N2O emission within minutes by using high precision spectroscopy rather than traditional gas chromatography. Thanks to Ardigo and NMU Nitrogen Group, and funding from the Norwegian Research Council and the European Union, the vision is materialized. The alpha version of the robot is at work in our field experiments at NMBU Norway. FFR1 is a three-wheeled vehicle which is capable of autonomous navigation by means of a combined high-precision real-time kinematic GPS and an inertial measurement unit system. The vehicle is designed as an open platform able to carry versatile instrumentation located in a waterproof instrument chamber. It is powered by a lithium battery pack which allows it to run for eight hours without charging. The two aluminium chambers for measuring emissions are deployed onto the soil surface without cutting into the soil. Near gas tight connection is secured by a flexible ring of rubber foam as illustrated in this photo. A flexible membrane coating on the inside secures a well-defined area for measurement. In addition, windscreen is secured by a circle of long-haired nylon brush, which marginalize leakage even in strong wind. The chambers are equipped with lids, which are held open until the chamber is fully deployed to avoid bulk airflow through the soil during compression. On top of the vehicle, there is a 3D sonic anemometer and a widescreen web camera, and the operator can monitor the robot and the instrument readings in his office, as seen here. The widescreen camera picture is shown in the lower right panel. Lower left panel shows the driving plan through the field plot experiments, and the actual position indicated by the yellow arrow. Operational details are shown on the top panels and the operator can stop operations and take manual control if needed. When measuring, a screen in the middle shows the measurement plotted against time. In this case, only N2O concentration is plotted in parts per million, as measured by a tunable diode laser with a frequency of 1 Hz. As you can see on the screen, the operator can choose to plot several variables. Water and carbon monoxide measured by the TDL, water and CO2 measured by a LICOR instrument, and wind speed measured by anemometer. All data, including temperature, are stored together with the exact position of the robot. When plotting more than one parameter at the same time, normalized presentations can be used to visualize the kinetics of all, as shown here for CO2 and N2O. The robot weighs 300 kilograms, and a single drive causes marginal damage to a grassland and marginal soil compaction. Thus it can be used to map spatial variability within a field. However, we use the robot to monitor emissions from a field plot experiment every day throughout the year. Such repeated driving along the same track, day after day, would result in deep tracks. For this reason, the robot drives on a boardwalk through the field experiment. Diurnal variation of N2O emission is an issue. Ideally, all plots should be measured at the same time. However, since the, each measurement takes only 3 minutes plus transport time, adding up to 5 minutes, we can do with each experimental block of 8 plots within 40 minutes. Do we save time by using the robot? With manual chambers, the total workload for measuring flux from 100 frames is about 27 hours, all operations included. With the robot, it takes only one hour. This is a 96% reduction. Do we save money? At least if we consider the astronomic sum spent on development as sunk cost. We're now inviting companies and universities to join in on making a better version of the robot. Please take contact.